Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. On our previous video, we looked at one of the five systems in quantum mechanics which is a particle in a one-dimensional box where we explored the boundary conditions, the Schrodinger's equation and wave functions used to determine the kinetic energy. Now, in this video, we will explore the second system in quantum mechanics which is the free particle in one dimensional space that is particle not in a box. There are two scenarios we need to take note of in here. First scenario is a part which is translational motion and the other scenario is tunneling. Now for the case of this particular video, in order for we to make this video as short as possible, we are going to focus on this first part in here which is translational motion of a particle in a one-dimensional space. We are going to focus on tunneling on our next video but in here we are going to focus more on translational motion. Now this will be explored in this video where in translational motion this is a quantum description of one particle which is in a free space. So if you have this particle in a free space, the particle will move in infinite positions either a positive infinity position or to negative infinity and now you're going left or right you're not moving up and down if you're moving up or down then we are taking into consideration the potential energy but in here we are avoiding potential energy in this particular scenario and we're looking at the kinetic energy in this particular part over here where you're moving left which is leaning towards negative infinity or leaning towards the right which is a positive infinity. Now this is kind of different of course to that of the particle in a box in terms of the boundary conditions where for this particular part which is translational motion in one dimensional space our boundary condition is where our potential energy in here is actually equal to zero for this particular regions in here from negative infinity to positive infinity. However, this is completely different from our particle in a box which we talked about in our previous video where we focus on this particular region here where our particle is placed here and our particle is expected to move at L length in here and it's not actually hitting our boundary in here because this region is impenetrable in terms of the wall. We have impenetrable walls in here where our particles cannot pass through so this is avoided and that is avoided but in here is our kinetic energy and from our kinetic energy we are able to actually determine various quantized states. However, in this particular case we are going to see something quite different. So therefore to solve the showing just equation for this particular problem in here, we need to consider the particle movement in x directions. Like for example, if you are moving in the positive x direction which is expressed as this formula, our x positive direction is going to be leaning towards this particular direction in here. However, for our negative direction, we have our wave function which is actually negative x and you are moving in the opposite direction in there. Now take note that in this particular case for our boundary state they both share the same regions where you are going from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity which is what we have over there and also we need to take into account that our energy which is actually in this particular square root here is actually zero to positive values. We don't want to put negative value in here otherwise we're going to have something quite uncomfortable in terms of our calculation and also we need to take into account what A represents versus what B represents. So A and B are just constant values and they are unknown constants in this particular case and they actually describe how we shoot the particle out into this particular free space over here so that takes into account probably gun that we will use to shoot the particle into that particular space either in the positive direction or in the negative direction. 
Now, in this particular case, for a given wave function, which is for a free particle moving in the positive x direction, which is what we're going to focus on in here, which is this formula. The quantum mechanical description of the translational motion shows that there is no restriction of energy and the translational motion is actually the energy of a free particle which is not quantized. So in here we have a non-quantized state compared to a particle in a box where we have quantized state. Now this second point that we actually talked about in here which is non-quantized state for translational motion is similar to the two properties which is um, quantum mechanics and that of classical mechanics because they both share the idea of in a free space a particle will have a non-quantized state in translational motion. Now in addition to this the positive x direction which is expressed as this formula over here will actually have a look like this and this look in here which shows our particle moving in the positive x direction in here or I'll just put it in there in backload case is actually similar to the formula this formula is actually similar to a cosine rule in here where we have this particular sinusoidal function in here moving in this particular manner and this is going to negative infinity all the way to positive infinity and this particular expression of the similarity between our exponential function in here and our sinusoidal function in here is actually revealed in terms of the general formula where this particular exponential function in here is actually equal to cosine kx plus i sine kx where k is our constant and k in this particular case is equal to this particular variable over here which is the square root of oh, 2me over h bar so in this particular part once we have that in here then we can evaluate our formula by various calculation and then once we put our k value in here into this formula and put this k value into this formula then what we realize is that once you evaluate this our a substitute this particular guy for this into our equation in here and what we have is our result over here so our new function is no more in terms of this exponential function but now it's in terms of cosine and our sine law or sine rule in there so in this particular part if you're trying to see what our probability will be after you've looked at this in terms of representing it as a cosine if you want to go back to okay let's look at the exponential function and see if we solve the probability which is our complex conjugate multiplied by our regular wave function so if we have e i x multiplied by e negative i x where k is actually included let me just put k here and put k here and k and k are the same x x are the same so what we realize is that e is actually subtracted e is actually a subtraction of the exponent and what we realize is that i k x minus i k x is actually equal to e0 and e raised to the power of 0 equals to 1 and our probability function will normally be how our wave function is in terms of 
the sinusoidal function but rather it's just all one in here so this is our wave function and this is my x value and you're going from positive infinity to the other side which is negative infinity so this is the probability of finding a particle in a space compared to what we have in terms of our wave function which is just a sinusoidal function and our energy in here is non-quantized compared to a particle in a box where our energies are actually quantized and we have a wave function where if we perform our probability which is the square of our wave function then we get all this flipped up and we just have nodes present however in the particle in the space we have no nodes present in here so that's about it for this particular video and next video will look at tunneling with respect to a particle in a free space all the same thanks for watching please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts hope you understand it hit the like share and subscribe by that way i can talk to you all later be smart